Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul and today we're going to be taking a look at five of my favorite Android applications. And I recently made a similar video to this where I go over five of my favorite wallpaper applications. So make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. It'll be in a card up above and in the description down below. But before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor that made this video possible. Dot tech domains. If you're passionate about technology, then dot tech is a perfect domain extension for you. It specifically emphasizes the technology aspect and it would be ideal for developers, coders, startups, tech bloggers, or pretty much anyone affiliated with the tech industry. Dot tech has over 300,000 registrations in a little over a year and it's already been embraced by a ton of early adopters including even ces.tech. I've actually registered Paul and Dot tech to redirect to my YouTube channel. It's great branding, it's easy to remember and relevant to what my channel is about. If you're involved in the tech industry then it makes perfect sense to consider a Dot tech address. You can get your own Dot tech domain for only $4.99 a year by visiting www.git.tech and use the coupon code PaulInTech for a discount. So because this is my first uh, best apps video, I'm going to be featuring a few apps that might be a little bit more common. Maybe you've heard of a couple of these, but in the future I'll definitely be sure to branch out into lesser known apps. So stay tuned for that. So the first app we're going to be taking a look at is called Music's Match. So this app works with most popular music applications like YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, and more to give you lyrics for songs that you're playing. So the lyrics actually sync exactly with what you're playing, kind of like karaoke, but you can see the full lyrics by expanding the window fully. One thing I really like about this app is that while you're listening to songs, the lyrics are able to stay open in a little window on your phone at the same time, which can be minimized with a tap. Now, now another really cool feature is that, kind of like SoundHound, it's able to hear music around you and bring up lyrics for that too. I find this feature absolutely amazing and super useful if you hear a song that you haven't heard before. So Music's Match is a must have application for any music lovers out there. Next up I have an app called Parcel Track. So this app is used to track packages you have coming in the mail by using the package's tracking number. And I know there's a few other apps out there that can do this as well, but this one does it pretty well and has some really cool features, especially if you decide to upgrade to the premium version. So after entering the tracking number into the app, it tells you everywhere the package has been and what it was doing in those locations. You can also take a look at the map in the app to get a visual representation of the tracking information. Apart from that, there is nothing really too interesting, but I do like how simple and clean the entire interface of the application is. It's also easy to customize the name of your shipments, and once they come in, you can archive them so they won't take up space in your current shipments tab. Now with the premium version of the app that costs $2.99, you can get a few more cool features that might be worth it for you, like push notifications and this really cool feature that allows you to easily input shipments by simply forwarding the shipping confirmation email to an email address associated with the app. So I've been using this next app for many years now for my YouTube videos and I use it whenever I need to record the screen of my Android phones. So this app is called AZ Screen Recorder and it's my favorite screen recorder I've ever used. I've tried many other screen recorders and I've had various problems with most of them but I've yet to have any issues with AZ Screen Recorder. I can manually edit all the important settings like resolution, frame rate, bit rate, and I can choose where the files record to. It's also pretty easy to use right from the start, and it doesn't have any time limits on the recordings, which is awesome. So fourth on the list is an app called Twilight, and I'm sure most of you probably know about the night shift feature that's built into iOS that sort of makes the screen easier on your eyes, and Twilight is kind of like a version for that for Android, except you get a lot more control over all the settings. I use this app whenever I plan on using my phone before going to bed. It's just a lot easier on my eyes and I find it a lot easier to fall asleep afterwards. So basically it lets you tweak the temperature that the screen is set to and from there you can adjust the intensity of that temperature and the brightness of the screen. On top of that you can also set exact times for the screen adjustment to occur 
and it will slowly transition into your desired settings. So I would highly suggest trying this out if you use your phone before going to bed. It might sound crazy, but I think it really works. And finally, for our last app, we have Nova Launcher. If you haven't heard of this app before, I highly suggest going to download it right away and I promise that you won't regret it. This app brings Android customization to a whole nother level by completely changing the stock launcher that comes on your phone. So every phone comes with its own unique launcher. Some of them are pretty good and others can be terrible, but Nova Launcher will cover the stock launcher and provide you with a simple, clean, and customizable interface. You can also tweak so many different settings and there's no way I'd be able to cover them all in this video, but some of my favorites are the changeable grid sizes for the home screen and app drawer, the custom size for icons on the home screen and app drawer, and the custom layout and look of the app drawer. So like I said, there's a lot more than just that and I highly suggest you give it a try if you haven't already. So there you guys have it, those were my five favorite Android applications for today's episode and I plan on doing a lot more of these in the future, maybe branching out into less common apps or different categories of applications. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to leave me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks.